Hey guys, how's it going? Rover here. Now, today we'll be doing Hall of Trials. It's a new week and the boss for this trial is Nilgal. Basically the AoE version of Kiris. And I did, um, I did one run and <laughs> this is the best that I could do an S with the team I have and the condition for this week. I mean, no warriors, no good. A lot of my units are warrior type, so this is pretty bad for me. Um, immune to attack debuff. For this particular boss, I don't think this is a disadvantage at all because Nilgal just throws poison everywhere and poison is not affected by attack, so I'd say that's an advantage. Now for the advantage, we have mages, they get a stat boost. Unfortunately for me, the only mage I have that I can use for this floor is Challenger Dominiel. The other mages that I have is Auxiliary Lots, which is no good, and Misty Chain, who <laughs> I've pretty much uh, stripped all her gears. And the other advantage is using Burn heroes. Um, unfortunately, the heroes that I have that inflicts Burn are Warrior type, and they're no good in this floor, so I can't use them. However, I can use them, but I'll lose a lot of damage, and I don't want that. So basically the only unit that I can really make the most out of is Challenger Dominiel, which sucks. And I'm surprised that I got an S, considering I only have one unit that is actually pretty useful in this trial, so yeah. Well, as long as I get an A or above, that's good enough for me. Now this is a team that I use, uh, Challenger Dominiel. BBK and two cleansers, Tama and Montmorency. Because Nilgal throws a lot of poison, I I need them in the team. However, it's it's not really that bad on the first phase, but when you get to the final stages, uh, it it just gets a bit overwhelming. I'm scared. And for me, uh, I really do need the clear. And I, I need that extra 700 points because that, that extra 700 points is what bumps you up from the next rank. So it's really important, at least for me, to get that clear bonus. Now for this, um, I think the first phase is really important. Um, it kind of determines what your result score is when you complete the run. So based on the... Based on what damage or the total damage you do on its initial phase, when it gets stunned, you know, um, you can pretty much guess what result you get at the end. Whether you get an S, S, uh, double S or triple S. So it'll, if you wanna, you know, um, try out different composition to tackle the boss you basically just have to look at the amount of damage you do in the first phase however there are some parts where uh, your team might not make it so you might need to put that into consideration but you know it's a good it's a good guess I will show you the power of Nixie. now because it, the first phase is so important, I'm gonna manually do it. Only when all are dead will this end. Okay. But on the second phase and third phase, um, when he's not stunned, I'm just gonna auto it. This is, there's no point going through all that, you know, manually. Since I know that they're gonna survive. Survive the poison in auto mode. But when he goes, um, but when he's stunned, then I really need to manually do it. Because I wanna do as much damage as I can. To try to get A or above. So this part is really, really good. Uh, we have Tamarin up. She's on her idle form. And then after that is uh, Montmorency and then C Dom. So C Dom's gonna use her S3 and then S1 to put Nilgal to a stun state. And the good thing is, during his stun state, I don't have to buff my team because I've already done it before I stunned him and what and that's really good because you know you're not wasting a precious turn 
because you will lose a lot of damage if you do that so this is really good now I'm aiming for at least 1 mil points uh, on my last run I think I was just under 1 million points I think I got 800 and no 980,000 so hopefully this time I get 1 mil that's what I'm aiming for No one can escape. It's dangerous. Flame. I will do my best. I am the strongest. Ha. Oh, perfect. Yeah. That's good enough. Good enough. Now, this time I can just auto this pretty much. Like, there's no point. I'll come back when it's um Yeah, I think I'll come back once uh his HP is like really low or when he hits on his second phase. But for now I won't be talking much. Just enjoy the video, I'll come back later on. Alright. Now if you are looking for uh, the best units for this week's um, Hall of Trials then uh, I would recommend to use either Cerilla or SC Carrot if you invested on her. Both of them are mage, they're fire and they also inflict burn so 3 in 1 and if you have both of them that is perfect. I mean, you just have someone with a cleanse or someone with like immunity. A Vivian would be really good here. I think that's what most people are using against no gun. Tamarin also works, but um, with Tamarin when you get to when you get to the second and third phase, it's just really difficult to try and get rid of the poison because they they stack a lot. And especially Nilgal's S3. If you use Tamarin and you buff your units, Nilgal has his ulti. He uses it, he's gonna turn all your buffs to poison. And it's gonna be really difficult to uh, get rid of them. With Tamarin, of course. But if you have someone like Vivian and Tamarin, I think they're a really good pair against Nilgal. But I don't have... Well, I don't have Vivian. So that's uh, really unfortunate. That's why I'm having a difficulty trying to get triple S or even a double S. But you know, since my since the condition is against my favor, then uh, getting an A or above is good enough for me. I mean, if you think about it, right? Getting an Getting an A rank gives you 20 of those uh, rewards. Now to craft an exclusive item, you need 40. So ultimately you need 2 runs to craft one equipment item. And same goes when you get a triple S and gives you 25. So we still need 2 runs to craft an exclusive item. However, of course, getting a triple S over time will yield more uh, but the base that you should aim for is in my opinion is a only when all are dead will this end a crack
help you. All right, now we have uh, tamarins. All right, so I'm gonna I'm manually do this now. We got tamarin. Gonna push everyone. We got Sidon. That's perfect. I guess. I don't think Sidon has enough damage to one shot Nilgo. Nah. Okay, this is bad then. <laughs> this is bad. Who's next? Yeah, that's a very unfortunate. But well, we have 1.2 mil. Um, I, 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 I think I'll keep this. I'm not going to uh, restart. Let's just see uh, what we get. Not a perfect run, but it's not too bad. Only when all are dead will this end. You can't go back. If I had to burn in this team, I would do like both C Dom and BBK would do 200,000 damage. I'm scared. But uh, without that, ew. not a lot, but not too bad as well. Okay, 2.2 mil. No one can escape. Hmm. Not too bad, I guess. Getting an S is 3 million points, I think. And double S is 3.2 million. Yeah. So I can just auto this and, uh, I don't know, go to sleep or something. <laughs> but yeah, I can, I can auto this. I'm pretty sure. I'll be pretty disappointed if they lose this. Right? With two cleansers, come on. And that's one of the things where I, um, I have to use uh, two cleansers. I tried using one, I tried using Tamarin and uh, like another DPS. The problem with only using Tamarin to deal with the poison is not really good when you get to like, well, let's say, second or final phase. When it gets there, then it gets a bit too overwhelming for Tamarin to cleanse the poison. She's not going to be enough to do it. And I did try using um, only Montmorency, so instead of using Tama, I just use Montmorency and another DPS. The problem with that is I lose a lot of damage because Tamarin's attack buff is actually making a lot of difference in terms of. Uh, you know, overall damage. Blade, dragon. So if I want to... So if I just use Momorancy, I lose a lot of damage, so that didn't work. At least for me. Oh my god, look at that, PBK. Am I actually gonna lose him? Nah, she's good. Or maybe not. Nilgal just got pushed to the front. Oh good. Let's heal that BBK. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. I, that got me on my toes there. I was almost disappointed there. <laughs> yeah, let's cleanse them all. And get their HP back up. Dust Devil. Oh yeah, I forgot she had Dust Devil. Did she actually proc it on the first and second phase? I wonder. Even if it's just a little, I really want to help. Poison. Yeah. And also, I tried using a burn unit. Because you know, um, the boss has burn, you deal 50% more damage. I try adding Ken. I tried that. Um, it's really good on the first phase, like really fast. But when you get to second and third phase, your team just gets destroyed. My team got destroyed. Because I only had uh, Tamarin. I used Tamarin Ken. 
Uh, first phase is really fast. Uh, when, when I got to like second phase, that's when I lost because <laughs> Tamarine can't keep up with Nilgal's poison. And the fact that Nilgal can also transfer debuffs back to your team is really bad since Ken can inflict defense break on S1. And uh, yeah, when he transfers that to your team, oh, it's just not that good. And on top of that, he throws a lot of poison when you try to cleanse them. You know, especially with Montmorency on her S2. When she, when I, I try to use her to cleanse um, debuffs, it doesn't work because of the poison that you have to get rid of first before you get rid of the um, the defense break. So uh, yeah, Ken. I think if I have someone who has immunity, that would really help. I mean, I did use Angelica, but with Angelica. I lose a lot of damage. Melt away and disappear. Let me take your pain away. I'm on my way. It's going to be okay. I'm pretty much almost there. Should be able to take him out. We got an S. I think we might be able to get double S. Because the clear bonus is 700 points. Or 700,000 points. So that's a double S, right? We'll see soon enough when we complete this. But this is actually surprising. I used the same team on my first run and I got an S. Getting a double S with the same team, that's actually pretty good. You can't go back. Over here. Yeah, double S. Okay. Cool, cool. Alright. Happy with that. That's a uh, step up from the first run. But I guess that's... Uh, yeah. I mean, even with the disadvantage that I got, you know, only could only use C-Dom as my main damage. But if you compare it to BBK's damage, they're kind of on par. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'll take that. Well, you know, if if the condition's against you, then getting an A at least is good enough. I guess for this, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another Epic 7 video. Alright, cheers! Rover out!